Hey everybody, Amanda here, Mississippi Madness, or half Mississippi Madness again. Uh, how are y'all doing? Today, our video is going to be about dumb people who do dumb things. Some of these are just, I don't know what these people were thinking, I really don't, but some of them are just crazy hilarious, so... We're just going to get started with them. Alright, this first picture, y'all. This girl's laying on the floor. Apparently, she's been working on this chair for a while. Uh, if you look at the chair, she has put the legs on upside down. My husband always says he doesn't need the instructions, and he has done this exact same thing with the exact same chair. <laughs> I just let him go because I try to tell him, you know, hey, oh, here's the instructions. Let's read these, see what's going to happen. Yeah, no. He doesn't care. He doesn't use them. So we've had several projects that we've had to go back and redo, but this is, I'm telling you, the exact same chair he has done this with. So apparently it's either not that hard to do it with or they're just extremely dumb, which is quite possible. All right, y'all. Are you going to class tomorrow? And she shows her a picture of a thermometer with a 100.4 fever. The friend texts back, does that mean you're pregnant or not? I am hoping these aren't nursing students because if it is, um, I don't think I want the, the one texting, like, does that mean you're pregnant or not? I don't think I'd want her as a nurse. I'm afraid she'd stick something in my mouth that somebody else peed on. Okay. Never actually done this with a chopping board. But I have ruined several strainers. I will admit, you're cooking spaghetti. Mm. Strain your noodles and you just set it back on the eye. You're not thinking. Ruined about three strainers this way. This one is just hilarious. This was a bath bomb. And the dad put it in the toilet thinking it was a cleaning thing for the toilet. Cleaning circle, whatever you want to call it. Cleaning cake, whatever you want to call it. Dwayne said this is what he thinks of when a horse has, a unicorn has um, diarrhea. Really gross. Yeah, that's what he said. Lizzie, on the other hand, said this is what she thinks of when a unicorn throws up. So, neither one of them are real good, but it's kind of true. Okay. I don't even know what to say about this. Because they tried, but they still missed it. Missed it. And all I can think about when I see or hear salt and pepper, I grew up in the 90s, is salt and pepper a singing group. Yeah. That's all I can think of every time somebody says salt and pepper together. All right. I have seen this one several, several times. <laughs> For a second because I actually have friends who would actually buy a picture of a ceiling fan um, my friends aren't that smart um, but yeah it might fool me for just saying what I'm glad about what I'm I, I'm giving the guy credit for is at least he realized it without too much time passing because these are sent all at 601 p.m. So, at least he's noticing this within like seconds of each other, that he's wrong, that it's a ceiling fan and a mirror. Good for you, guy. Okay. How would this even work? One of two things. You either, they either think you're going to take the lid off, take the soap out, wash your hands, put the soap back, and then put the lid back on, 
which no one is going to do because this looks like a bathroom in like a, like a public bathroom maybe in a dorm something like that so nobody is going to do this you know this or they're thinking that you add water and it's supposed to suds up in there and you know you push the little thing and get yourself out neither way is correct neither way okay again I don't want to go to this place where um, these people work. I don't want these nurses treating me. Um, this is something they do every day. How could you forget that you cannot have metal objects sitting that close to an MRI machine? I don't want this to happen to me. So we're just going to find out what hospital this is and we're just never going to go there. Okay. Again, I have friends who would do this. They're just too lazy to, like, open the umbrella up and have to shake it off and close it back. Um, the, the, the second thing I see about this picture is um, it doesn't even look like it's raining. Y'all look in, the, in front of you, like in those puddles. There's nothing. There's no rain. No rain coming down. So this was pointless. My husband would die, literally die, if cords were done like this. He would, he'd yell a lot. This lady, poor thing, um, thinks she's actually charging her iPhone um, when all she's actually doing um, is plugging the earphones up. Um, so it takes about five seconds to untangle those wires and figure out what you're actually doing. Okay, this says my wonderful mother could have frozen pizza in the wrong way. I don't think so. I think any mom would know how to cook a pizza. I think this is a drunken kid, teenager, even an adult better be an adult if you're drunk, uh, putting, going home, wanting something to eat, and um, putting the pizza in upside down, and blaming their mother. I think that's what this is. That makes more sense. Okay. Yo, I ordered a pizza and came with no toppings on it or anything. It's just bread. Domino's Pizza replies. We're sorry to hear about this. Please let our friends know of this so they can help. The guy answers back a few minutes later, never mind, I opened my pizza upside down. Again, I believe this is a drunken mistake. Just plain out. That's all it is. That's it. Okay, y'all. This says, why are the drinking fountains so short in Europe? Okay, y'all, y'all, okay. I'm a little bit lower class, so I've never actually seen a bidet in real life. But even if I had or hadn't seen one, I wouldn't be drinking out of a water fountain that's sitting right next to a toilet in a bathroom. Just not sure how sanitary that would be. Um, here in the South, we do drink out of the hose outside. But you don't stick your mouth on it and you just let the water run out and go in your mouth. That's acceptable. No big deal. You can even clean the hose off with the water coming out. But we do not drink out of fountains that are in the bathroom next to a toilet. It's just not going to happen. We're a little bit smarter than that. Okay, guys. One of two things. Either the college professor, because it says a flaw in my college's scissor retention plan. Okay. One of two, one of two scenarios. The college professor is too dumb to realize that you can just cut the string with the scissors or this college professor doesn't think very much of their students um, because if they think this is going to keep the scissors there they're probably sadly mistaken so one of two things the professor's either too stupid to know this or the professor doesn't think much of their students they don't think they're smart enough to know this Okay, y'all, this says, my aunt screenshotted photos from Facebook and got them printed at Walmart. 
this would be something my mother would do. I love you, Mom, if you're watching. Um, but yes, I this is something that I'm sure you would definitely do. You're not very tech savvy. I love you, though. Alright, this next one. This would be marketing gone wrong. Because I'm pretty sure that these are your forearms and not your thighs. Um, I'm pretty sure that thighs are in your legs. Um, either that or they're selling chicken the wrong way. Because, yeah. Idiots in marketing. Just go figure. Okay, people. Please do not do this. Um, if you ever used sandpaper or know what sandpaper is and what it does, you would not put sandpaper on your windshield wipers to get the ice off of your windshield. Please, again, public service announcement, please don't do this. This will ruin your windshield. I know it's been on Facebook. I know people have said this before, but please don't do this, okay? Just, just don't. Just don't. Okay, again, please don't do this, ever. You, you, it just made medium rare chicken strips. They're so good, can't believe I haven't tried it like this before. Can't wait to dig in with my homemade salad and veggies. Healthy, hashtag healthy, hashtag New Year's resolution, hashtag clean, hashtag clean eating. This is not clean eating, this is not, this is not healthy. It's called salmonella. You cannot cook chicken medium well. <coughs> or rare. Or very rare. Or medium rare. Chicken has to be cooked fully. You can do this with steak. Hamburgers. Mm, questionable. But not chicken. This will kill you. Do not do this. I feel like I'm I'm a I'm a, a public service uh, announcer on some of these. Like seriously, people are just so crazy dumb that it's just not even funny. Think about him 31 seven because he's on my mind even when I'm sleeping. There's still 24 hours in a day when you're sleeping. Wait, what? Kids are getting dumber and dumber and dumber. Mm -mm. I just can't with this one. I, I just don't even know. That's where we're going to end it because if I don't, I'm going to go crazy. But this this is just retarded. Sorry, not retarded. That's a bad word. Don't ever say that. This is just crazy. All right, y'all. That was it um, for this video. Hope y'all liked it. Um, the next one that should be coming out should be Lizzie's pictures from this week that she's taken. Uh, we'll put that up, i um, going to try to put that up Sunday, probably Sunday afternoon. Um, so y'all be watching for that one. Like it, share it, subscribe, like mine, share mine, just like we always do. Comment below which one you thought was the stupidest thing that someone has done in this list. Or if you've got some of your own, hey, comment down below. I may make a video of them. Um, let me know what y'all might want me to do a video on next. Um, and I guess that's it, y'all. We will see y'all next time. Thank you for watching. See y'all later. Bye. Green melt me like ice and whiskey with those blue flame looks that you get.